What's up guys? Welcome back. My framing and everything are a little bit off and that is because this is a very far overdue declutter video. I'm gonna make this a really quick intro. I just wanted to have a formal intro so you're just not like jumping into looking at my hands, but I was basically cleaning this room out. None of my drawers would close and I was like, yeah, it's about time. <laughs> so I am doing the typical overhead, going through every single category in my collection and getting rid of so many things and talking through each one of them, swatching what is necessary to swatch. And I always have to say this, please don't comment, hey, can you send me your reject makeup? That's just a common thing that creators always have to say when we do declutters, we're not gonna send our makeup out. There's just a lot of reasons why. Anyway, it was a very, very long video on with the show. <laughs> okay guys, um, excuse me while I kind of get used to the framing here, but we're just gonna start with eyes because this drawer won't close. <laughs> I'm getting rid of all of the Amela palettes just because they have a pretty unreliable formula. They're so beautiful, but the shadows just don't stick. So um, maybe someone else will have better luck with them than I did, but they did send me all of them. I want a giveaway on Instagram and that's an easy one to clear out some space in the drawer. I did just order the new Wayne Goss one, but I also love his original one. This is the Imperial Topaz and I'm going to hold on to that. I'm holding on to all of my Aether palettes. There's a lot happening with Aether right now with the rebrand and everything and it's just nice to have what I always call an encyclopedic knowledge of these things. I just readjusted my autofocus, so hopefully it's focusing on each product. Holding on to all my Rowan palettes because they're beautiful and they do not take up much room in my collection, so that's easy. I think that I already decluttered this Dear Dahlia palette. It's just very unspecial, um, but I didn't have anywhere to take it during a pandemic, so I still have it for some reason. I want to go ahead and declutter this Lauren Conrad palette. I really don't want to talk about her brand on my channel anymore. This Illa Masca palette, is a beautiful palette of like neutrals and um, just, you know, an easy everyday palette, but I have tons of stuff like that. So I think someone else would probably get better use out of that. As you guys know, this Thrive palette is the one that I get the most use out of, out of anything in my collection. That's definitely staying. Another Aether palette. Of course, I'm going to be holding on to the brand new Venetian Rose palette from M Cosmetics. I'm going to keep the little mini palettes as well. Holding on to my Stone Vibes palette. I just don't have any Anything like this. This Urban Decay palette is awesome and I do love the Urban Decay eyeshadow formula. These from EXA, you know, typically I would hold on to these as like a, I don't know, as like a reference point maybe, but I just don't really think that they're relevant. You know, I don't like them. They hurt my eyes. I think I'm gonna pass those on. All right, let's move some more things into frame here. Trust me, there's, there's a lot. I'm going to keep all of my phytosurgence shades here. So I have Amber Aura, Potent Petal. I would like more of these. This Viseart palette, again, something that is not a very relevant comparison for anything. So um, I didn't end up liking this as much as I thought I was going to. Like the cools are too cool and the warms are too weird. It just didn't work out for me. So I'm gonna pass that along. I'm gonna hold on to this from M Cosmetics, not because it's like the most for me palette in the world, but it's just nice to have, again, like an encyclopedic knowledge of those palettes. Obviously holding on to Rowan, this is 1111. This is my favorite palette ever that I own. So this is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose palette. So definitely keeping that. As much as I love this Bounce and Blur formula, I just don't reach for this anymore. It's so pretty, but um, just from a standpoint of basics, I just don't really, I just don't really reach for it. So this is uh, Bare Minerals. I'm going to pass that along. Another one that I don't reach for very often. I'm glad that I like supported, you know, Raw Beauty Christie, but um, this just isn't really my vibe. It's just a little too saturated. It's obviously like pressed pigments. It's not really my thing. Obviously my, my mascara. I'm going to hold on to all of the Thrive Brilliant Eye Brighteners. They are one of the best formulas ever for our cream shadow. They don't crease on anybody. So um, they're always a really good thing to have. As far as my Refi brow products, I love these. So, you know, you might see me declutter some other stuff from her at some point, but I'm keeping the brow products. I've been reaching for these a lot. Ilya just sent me their new mascara. So I'm gonna be trying that for you guys. I'm going to declutter the Big Clean from Kosas because I have a backup of this and I'm pretty sure this is expired. Keeping my Urban Decay Chaos crayon. My husband probably hates me right now because he can hear all of that like racket through the wall. Why is that in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, so I do have some backups from M Cosmetics that I will hold on to. This is the Divine Skies original palette and these are two of her mascaras, which I do like. 
This is a Blink mascara. This is their ultra volume tubing mascara. It did not thrill me. It is honky chonky. So if you like the Thrive one, but it's too lengthening for you and not enough like hunky chunky volume, this one is like frustratingly <laughs> voluminous. Here is the Rowan Cake Mascara. What a disappointment. Here is the Bite Mascara, not my favorite. <laughs> if they smudge, I just can't tolerate it. Here's another mascara. This one is from Umela. Bye to everything Umela. Their stuff is just like, so like high expectation, low payoff. Yes, their eyeliner, their brow product, all their eyeliners, all their brow products. They sent me every shade because they didn't know like what shade I was gonna be. I'm gonna get rid of the Lauren Conrad brow pencil. This is some Koki mascara that just, you know, it's just mascara and you guys know I'm a tubing mascara girl. Getting rid of the Lauren Conrad mascara, it's fine. But again, I will never use it. Another one that I thought this was going to be, this is, you know, Essence has such a reputation for having such great mascaras and I thought that this one was going to be like a tubing mascara. Bye Bye Panda Eyes, absolutely not. Smudged like crazy. I'm going to hold on to actually all of my Illamasqua eyeshadows just because I have grown to really like love even the weird colors, the ones that shift funky. Like I just really, really enjoy the experimentation that comes with them. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep all of those. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna get rid of Twitter Painted from ColourPop. It's just like not exciting. Everyone hates these, I love them. <laughs> the Bio Glitters from Lawless. Not everything from Lawless has impressed me, but this one, these are really, really good and I enjoy them a lot. I reach for them all the time. This is the rose champagne -y one, and then there is a like gold one. Keeping airbrow in medium chocolate brown from, uh, from Kosas, but I will declutter when I run across it, the darker shade. Yeah, this one, because I constantly reach for it and I, then I put it on and I'm like, oh crap, that is the wrong color, it's too dark. So the dark brown will go to someone else. I'll probably give it to my sister. Um, you know, M Cosmetics makes some great products. These are great liquid eyeliners, but do I use liquid eyeliners? No, so I'm gonna pass those along. Glossier Lash Slick, um, this is so old, I need to throw it out. <laughs> Jones Road, oh my God, this is such a beautiful mascara, but it does smudge. But like, if you're looking for a clean mascara, Ooh, and you can put up with a little bit of smudging. This one I think is even better than Kosa's The Big Clean. This is the only thing from her line that I found to be good at all. But I'm going to declutter it because I don't use it. Like I said, I have a backup of The Big Clean. That's staying. This actually grew on me. This is Globe from the, uh, the Kosa's 10 Second Eyeshadows. Okay, more of these EXO ones. Those are gonna go. I am holding on to the Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. They're very good, even though I don't reach for them that much. They're really, really good. Um, obviously, keeping all of my Vesca Liquid Eyeshadows. These are the best ever. <laughs> Another Natasha Denona. Um, what is this? Okay, so this is the Daniel Stanley Long Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner in Green Velvet. Like, do I wear a green eyeshadow? Hardly ever. So, um, and these are really, really long lasting to the point where I find that they're actually tough to blend. So I am going to pass that along. I'm keeping the Wayne Goss eyeliners though. They're really, really good. Um, I have talked a million times about like why I end up holding on to some of the sky washes, but Echo and Pebble are pretty much the only ones that like I still really like and I like to keep them around for like a frame of reference for the formula. More Vesca. I do have all four and I adore them. This Undone Beauty ugh, blech, eyeshadow thing. It's just it's I think all of their creams are the same formula. <laughs> They're just like not good. Oh no there's still some in there. So this is a brow pencil from Thrive. Gonna hold on to that. Around like fall time that's when I start kind of penciling my brows in a little bit darker. This is the Nolly eyeliner. I'm going to hold on to that. It is nice to have a good waterproof eyeliner and like a good brown every once in a while. I do really like these always on liquid eyeshadows. This one's from Smashbox. They're really, really good. Obviously, I'm going to hold on to the Victoria Beckham. I just got this and I haven't gotten enough use out of it, but like the shimmers are really, really pretty. The Bite Eyeliner, again, is it a good liquid eyeliner? Sure. Do I wear liquid eyeliners? No, I am a disaster and I don't like the way they look anyway. On me, I mean. All right, this is from House of Siage. Um, I'm gonna pass this along to my mom. She is obsessed with their formulas. So um, this is a really, really nice palette. She also loves their blush. So I think that I'm going to make a little gift for her. This is... 
Oh my God, I don't even know why that's in there. This is uh, blush from Wayne Goss. I'm gonna pass on that. Again, there are some things in here that I meant to, that I did already declutter, quote unquote, but I didn't take them anywhere because we were in the middle of the pandemic. So this is the Khaki Haze palette from Huda, and like it's really, really pretty, but they're all a little bit too intense for me. There are shades like all of these in the Aether palettes that I end up reaching for more. So I'm going to pass this one along. Again, I think my sister would really like this. She's like olive undertoned. This is... Very precious, but very beautiful. This little palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I do love this. This is the Exaggerize. So um, yeah, really, really nice little palette, especially for traveling. It's just fantastic. I think that I have already decluttered this. Um, yeah, for obvious reasons. This is from Freck and it's just, you know, it's just for the youths. It's not so much for me and it's a pressed pigment palette. Um, I haven't reviewed this stuff yet and I need to, I'm holding on to it to do that. Um, I'm actually long overdue and I apologize, but Clover by Cloven Hallow, it's their new little sister brand. Um, they sent me like a huge set of all their stuff. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna at least include them in like a get ready with me or something and give them a shot. I haven't even tried them yet. Another Lauren Conrad product, although this is her eyeliner. This is probably the best liquid eyeliner I've ever used, but like even the best liquid eyeliner that I've ever used is still not worth keeping in my collection because I don't use liquid eyeliner. Um, this is the Hard Candy Dare to Extend Ultimate Lash Extension Mascara. And it is, you know, supposed to be like the drugstore version of a really good Tube mascara. I found it to be pretty okay. Um, you know, kind of on par with some of the lighter weight ones, but um, you know, I used it a long time ago. It's definitely like expired by now, but and a lot of people really didn't like it. More brilliant eye brighteners. Um, okay, these super goop, I like these, I do. They don't wear very long, but I like having them around. They're very pretty, so I like those. I'm gonna keep those in there in glass. It's wonderful. I, I find that it's easier to hold on to single shadows just because they take up so much less room. This is a Lise Watier Barely Gold. This is like this souffle shadow, and I wish I liked it, but it's like, it doesn't show up. Like, it's gorgeous, but it doesn't, it doesn't show up at all. Like. Hello? Definitely holding on to my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Oyster Pearl. This is the older Ilia mascara. I think I will hold on to this just to compare it to the new one before I declutter it. I literally bought this because of Julio Torres and my favorite shapes. Let's do one of these. <laughs> this has been discontinued. This is the Glitter Jalet. From, from Glossier, hello. Um, and he put it all over his hands for his uh, HBO special. <laughs> so I think that's what we'll do today. I love that. If you don't follow Julio Torres, like, what are you doing? Okay, Rare Beauty. I'm just holding on to Rare Beauty stuff because it's, you know, good for frame of reference. That's about it. I don't love, love this, but I also don't hate it. The only thing that bothers me about this is that this is supposed to be nearly mauve and it ain't nearly close to mauve. These are two Quo liquid eyeshadows that just don't show up. They don't blend at all. So we're getting rid of those. What is this? Oh, this is the Fine Liner Brow Pencil in Light Taupe from M Cosmetics. Great, great little brow pencil. This is the Bronze Pencil from Victoria Beckham. I love this, holding on to that. I'm keeping all the Wayne Goss ones, although where did the lid go? We'll, we'll wait and see when, when that turns up. I'm gonna hold on to this CoverGirl little liquid eyeshadow, it's the Exhibitionist Lid Paint. It's a very, very pretty, very good for the money. Obviously, I mean, I shouldn't say obviously, but like this is one of my favorite things, the Hourglass Scattered Light in Ray. I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, I am gonna hold on to all of the Victoria Beckham little lid lusters just because even though I don't love blonde and mink, I do love tea rose and honey. And it's just nice to be able to like give an example when I talk about why I like them and why I don't like them. And this is the original one that I have from her and I really, really like it. This is the Signature Palette, very good. Clover Mascara, holding on to that just to share it. This is actually a boy brow that is not dead yet. It looks dead, but it's not, <laughs> I'm holding on to it. Oh, here is the gold of the Lawless. This is Champagne Dreams, holding on to that. Hey, that might not be the lid, but it's a lid. I think it's the lid. So that's the one for the wing goth. Yeah, you know, another one that's great to have for frame of reference, especially PYT has just rebranded. So until I do a video where I actually compare the old to the new, I'm gonna hold on to this. This is the Day to Night Warm palette. I also have the original No BS palette here. I'm gonna hold on to that. Those are both great palettes. I love their formula. The Thrive palettes, these are the 
uh, Focus eyeshadow palettes, and I'm gonna hold on to those. Great formula. All my brilliant eye brighteners, they're everywhere. The waterproof primer, not that Thrive needs a primer, but uh, great primer. This is the blue from Daniel Sandler. This is such a unique pencil. I think I'm gonna keep this around just because I don't have anything like it. The Ye Paints from <laughs> from uh, Violet FR just did not, did not please me. And I don't think that they're really worth keeping around to like pr keep proving it over and over and over again. Like, hey, here's why I don't like this. Here's why I don't like this. Like you can just watch that video. Um, and it just kind of like is a really polarizing opinion. A lot of people get really irritated when I say it. So um, I'm just gonna pass these along. My sister will probably want them. More EXA. I do really like this. This is a Smashbox always on in this like kind of bright ultramarine color. Gonna hold on to that. Shantikai. This is their mermaid eyeshadow in Starfish. Just an unbelievably beautiful, subtle one and done shadow. So pretty, kind of a purple brown. I'm going to get rid of Brady from uh, ColourPop just because when they retire shadows, there's no point in me talking about them on my channel. You know, it's like, if you can't get it, then why would I talk about it kind of thing. The Satin Kajal Liner from Victoria Beckham in Coco, holding onto that beautiful formula. These milk color chalks are such a waste of my time. Another Aether palette with something stuck on it. Holding on to that. This is the original Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. Gonna hold on to that. This is such a beautiful shade from NYX, although it does feel like it's already drying out. What? Whoa. Okay, there we go. Gotta get her started. So pretty. If I can get that in the light, there we go. This is the shade Glam Rock in their Vivid Brights. I do love this. I'm gonna pass along the Artistry palette from Koki. I just have so many other things like this. It really is so much like the Day to Night Warm palette from PYT. It's like a lot of other things in my collection. I think that that video was a good thing to show, but I don't need this. Here's the other Yo Paint. Passing that along. Holding on to the few shades of the Lid Star that I do still have because they I kept the ones that I felt like looked good on me. This is the M Cosmetics Brow Gel. I do really like that. I'm going to pass um, this e.l.f. palette along. It's actually too cool toned for me. The Brow Pop from Co says, what shade is this? This is dark brown. I'm going to pass this along probably to my darker complected sister. This is an eyeliner from ColourPop. I don't use it. This is a Lashtopia sample from Bare Minerals, which I don't use. This is a Koki extendable liquid eyeliner. Again, a liquid eyeliner, I don't use them. This is a slightly lighter shade from Thrive in their brow pencil. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. It's nice to have a blonde one around. This is the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion. Very, very good product. I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm going to, let's see, I have the Eye Polish in Aura, RMS. And that is like a purple silver. I don't like this formula, it creases pretty much instantly and there's just not a whole lot of payoff. So I'm gonna pass on that. Definitely holding on to the Auric Glow Lust in Temper, but I think if I can find Ego, I don't know where that is, <laughs> oh no. Um, I might pass along Ego just because it's not a shade that looks good on me, but this one is. And I definitely wanna get the other one when they restock. This is another one of the Illamasqua shades. So gorgeous, this is like, Wah, pow, okay? Like that's the kind of payoff I wanna talk about. So that is OMG. The Victoria Beckham Mascara. This is definitely something that is probably expired by now. I think I bought this when my child was born. No, it was at the beginning of this year. I broke my no buy for this. This is staying, but only until I restock it basically. D. Carrot Beauty. Uh, we're gonna be getting rid of this. I hated this mascara. They claimed that it was a tubing mascara and it is not. Is this a dead boy brow? Nope, there's still boy brow in that boy brow. This is the Ilia brow. It's fine. Mm, I'll, I'll keep this around because I like to do like a full face of Ilia sometimes. Oh, this precious little piece of crap. I hate this thing. This is the Quadrant from Kierweiss. Just so expensive and so disappointing. The other thing that I got from them was this cream eyeshadow, which is like a joke. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Bye. Emela by the Clear Brow Gel from, uh, from Kosas. Very, very good. Keeping. 
this Ilia eyeliner. Um, it smudges quite a bit. I'm going to pass that along. I don't really use black eyeliner, and if I do, I have, I do prefer the, um, Victoria Beckham or the Wayne Goss. I'm gonna, hold, I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm going to keep the one from Wayne Goss. I don't know where the lid to this is, but this is the Satin Kajal in black. Holy crap, the lid. Ah, oh, there it is. I was like, that's really important. Okay, and I need to sharpen that. Another liquid eyeliner from M Cosmetics. I'm gonna pass that along. This is the other Refi brow product. They're a little tiny pencil. I'm going to keep that. I am going to pass along the Glossier Brow Flick. I think that it is expired, so I will actually get rid of that. This is such a coveted palette for so many reasons. It's just one of the best palettes that I own from Ilya. So I'm gonna keep that. Obviously keeping my Janessa Myricks Color Fix Foil. This is just such a gorgeous product. I, these are like mousse eyeliners from uh, Clover. So I'm going to see how these work before I decide. Lise Watier, another one that just doesn't show up. I don't understand. Emila by, this is the Brow Pop in medium chocolate brown. I'm gonna hold on to this. And then these two are those really bright eyeliners that I have really enjoyed from um, Urban Decay. So I'm going to keep those. <laughs> this isn't even all of it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep all my Pat McGrath lip glosses. That is an easy decision. Going to keep all of my, those are two of the same one, my M Cosmetics ones because they are great for frame of reference and they are pretty much my favorite like actual colored lip formula. Oh, I forgot I had this. <laughs> this is fun. I think it was kind of a gimmicky thing that they did, but the Glossier Lip Gloss, I love Glossier Lip Gloss, so that stays. The M Cosmetics ones stay. The Kosas ones stay. The Vesca ones all stay. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, Wet Lip Oil stays. Uh, Mario, Makeup by Mario stays. You, have a, you bet your sweet bippy this stays, okay? Like, I pursued this for so long. This is jellyfish. This is like disgusting. Look at that. I'm gonna get rid of that one because it's like really gross. Lisa Eldridge lip glosses. I'm gonna keep Muse and I'm gonna get rid of the other two because I'm never gonna use them. My sister will probably adore these. Going to hold on to my Wayne Goss lip glosses. I love them. Vesca. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. This is the Fenty cream in Mauve Wives and I just hate the taste of it, okay? I do. Rare Beauty, this is one of the best like matte lips ever and I kinda wanna keep it around for the rare occasion that I wanna do something like that. It's just a good formula. This is also a good formula for that kind of thing. The, the uh, M Cosmetics True Gloss, it is, you know, quite pigmented. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I just like, Again, it's another one where I like having an encyclopedic knowledge. I am gonna hold on to the Aether ones that I do have because she finally is putting them back into production. So I can't wait to compare like old versus new, get more shades in it and stuff like that. The, oh, I'm just gonna get rid of these. All the vanillic lips, none of these look good on me. Okay, full stop. Okay, we have the boosting, like the lip boost glosses from Quo. The only reason that I don't wanna hold on to these is because it's really hard for me to recommend something that so few people can actually try and I can't even like buy more of these if I want to. That's what's so hard about this, so I'm gonna pass on those. And I know that that's like a double standard because it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I talk about things that are only in the US kind of thing, but like, at least I can buy more of them. It's definitely subjective, so sorry about that. This is the Shantikai Lip Chic in Hisop, and it's super beautiful, holding on to that. Going to hold on to all of my Glossier Ultra Lips. They are super, super pretty. I love this formula. I'm keeping the Lawless Plumping, Smoothing, Nourishing, Forget the Filler. This is one of my favorite Lawless products. The Rare Beauty, these are great. I don't get enough use out of them. They're great, but they're little tinted lip balms. Oh, these M Cosmetics lip liners are beautiful. I'm gonna hold on to those. I also love, I get more into lip liners again in the fall. So um, I'm gonna hold on to those from uh, Wayne Goss. Kate had these sent to me as in State of Kate, not Kate the Great. <laughs> These things get kind of confusing. Fit Glow, and they are great, and I'm going to hold on to those as well. I mean, you can't like ever really bother me with a good nude lip liner because they're all so nuanced. 
that, um, you know, I, I don't have any that is like identical. I'm going to hold on to my Kosas, all of my Kosas lip fuels. I just got these and I love them. I'm also holding on to all of the Patrick Ta lip glosses. I love these. Um, as well as the super duper similar ones from Thrive. Very, very pretty. They all kind of serve the same purpose as just a really lovely hydrating lip topper with some glitter in it. They're so similar though. Like it's crazy how similar the Thrive and the Patrick Ta are. I am going to get rid of this St. Jane one. I did love this for a very, very long time, but it's probably expired. This, these do have, they have like CBD in them and I really like it, but um, it's actually like now that I've gotten so used to other formulas that are less sticky, this is like alarmingly sticky. <laughs> you know how you like your tastes change and it's just like now that I've seen the light, like I can't tolerate something this sticky. These, do they still make these, the bite? I think they do. I think this was like part of the re-release, but they sent me this entire collection and they are, I kept the ones that I really liked, although this one's black. I'm pretty sure that's black. Whoa. Whoa, you never know, you know? Bite makes some beautiful stuff. So this is Calvados Acai Smash. I don't know, let me know if you guys like want a swatching video of these at some point, although that would be a pretty intense swatching video, but like it's just good to have this like backlog of all of these shades. Is that Kava? Yeah, Kava is so ultra, ultra beautiful. It's like that perfect lavender. So yeah, I'm keeping those. I'm also keeping the other Bite, uh, the new ones. What are they called? <laughs> Either way, they're the new matte ones that they reformulated and I have sugar buns, chai, and then I have hot tomato. I think that's up on my desk. I thought that I put it in here, but I guess not. Um, I love these, they're beautiful. I'm also going to hold on to all of the colored glosses from Tower 28. I love all of these. I'm going to pass on the PYT full filled lip gloss um, because I think I just have enough of this kind of thing, you know? I'm also getting rid of this, which kind of annoys me because it was expensive. This is the Enhanced Lip Plumping Mask from Cosmetics. They put this on me when I get done with my facials at Milk and Honey, and I always liked it then, but like now that I have it in my hands, it doesn't really do much for me. I don't know why. Jones Road, wow, this is so nothing to write home about. The Cool Gloss. Bye. I don't really like hardly anything that I got from Axiology. Like their stuff, their formulas are just so dry. <laughs> like I'm never going to reach for this. So I'm going to, I'm going to pass on that. I am going to, like I said, I have a lot of like glittery lip glosses like this and we waited so long for this, but like this applicator kind of drives me crazy from bite and I'm just not a big fan of the plumping formula here. So, um, I'm going to pass those along. Another of the Fenty creams, very pretty, but again, I cannot with the taste of these. The Lauren Conrad lip gloss, the lip gloss. Bye. House of Siage was amazing to send me this beautiful lipstick case. So, um, I treasure this. Gonna hold on to that, obviously. This is disgusting. Something very, very creepy has happened with my Rowan sparkly lip glosses that I have not had for very long. So that's out of here. This is Rumor, which is another one of the quote unquote sparkly ones, but um, it does nothing for me. Bye. The Hourglass in Provoke. I absolutely love this. It's like the freaking best color ever. It's like this luxurious lavender nude so pretty. This is something that I keep around from Rare Beauty just because it is one of those liquid lip balm formulas that's great to have for comparison because, and that's the same thing with like the Vesca, like these are just really, really good formulas to compare because it, this is a formula that a lot of people really love, but you can't get every shade in every brand. And so it's like, okay, I want to have an exhaustive collection of the shades that you would want in this formula. So Vesca has a whole lot of, like a, a very wide variety of them. And the M Cosmetics ones are really similar. And so are the Rowan ones, but the glitter ones are just such a miss for me. This sh these shades are just bizarre. This is something I haven't had the chance to use on camera yet. This is the CLE Melting Lip Powder. It seems like a bit of a gimmick, but that's what it does on the skin. And I bought it because it's purple and I like purple. I don't know. It's a little bit freaking weird. Uh, I don't know. I'll hold on to it, but I don't, I don't know. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit hard to use. This is the Thrive Clear, just the lip treatment. Good stuff. You know, always nice to have around. 
These are a couple of the clover. They already, I don't know where the other one went. I guess I kept it, but um, I'm, you know, keeping the clover stuff around to try it on camera. I cannot get rid of these for some reason. They're really, really good plumping lip glosses from e.l.f. It's just like something that you throw in your bag and like, I don't know, I just, you know, keep them everywhere. They're so nice and they're very inexpensive. They're really, really good plumping lip glosses. They remind me a lot of the Buxom lip glosses. A Clear Glossier lip gloss, obviously that stays. I do love this one. This is from, as you can tell this one's been around a while. This is the Lux Gloss from the Raw Beauty Christie collab with ColourPop. This is Glacier great shade. Just a really, really good clear gloss with like a very neutral shimmer to it. Very, very pretty. Ilya, they just sent me, ooh, actually this is a lip lipstick. Mm, I do love their lipsticks. They're very, very beautiful. I don't wear lipstick all that often, but uh, this is Amber Light. This is just a really, really good, it's a really good lipstick formula. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I also have this one, which is called Forever. And this is also a really beautiful lipstick shade. Holding on to that. I'm going to pass this on. This is like a crazy cool pink from Axiology. This is a really fun one from Lee Swatier. It's got like really big glitter in it. I'm gonna hold on to that. It's just fun. It's like a little party in a tube. And I think that a viewer sent this to me. So I wanna hold on to that. This I could not feel less about. This is one of the, God, aren't they nondescript when they don't have their little like fancy cap on them? This is Kierweiss, and it's so boring. Like, bye. Smells, if you're unfamiliar, it smells so bad. Like, they smell so bad. This is another, ooh, wow. That's, just kidding, I thought this was Axiology. This is Velvet Fawn from, um, oh my god. From Lisa Eldridge. Yeah, definitely keeping that. What a gorgeous formula. And um, Ilya did just send me a few things because they sent me their new mascara and they sent me a few other things to go with it. So I've got like a backup of uh, a couple of their balmy glasses. So they sent me petals and they sent me one more, I wanna say. Either way, great. You know, holding onto those. I do love that Thrive put out this sunproof lip balm. I have one of them running around in my bag and then this is kind of a backup. This is the Fresh Mint. They also have a Clementine. The Illamasqua lip gloss, there's no reason to run out and buy this, but there's also no reason for me to get rid of it. It's actually really nice. So, um, you know, it's just a regular lip gloss though. This is one of my favorite drugstore products. This is the Milani um, Nourishing Lip Plumper. It's a very effective minty lip plumper and um, you get a lot for your money in this color color soft rose is absolutely gorgeous and it's a pretty good dupe for the hourglass that I was just talking about. Another one that you do not need to run out and buy but it's a perfectly good lip gloss is the House of Siage. I like this very very much. The Milk Plumping Electric Glossy Plumper, Glossy Lip Plumper. This is so polarizing because it, the spicy factor comes from the Sichuan peppercorns and it is like distractingly tingly. I think that, I don't know, someone else in my life would probably like this better. It's, it's not that I hate it, it's just like I don't wanna reach for it because it like stresses me out. <laughs> Undone Beauty, just, it, I'm sorry, they just underwhelmed me, this underwhelmed me. Oh boy, talk about underwhelming. Look at all these extras that I accidentally ordered of the elixir from Rowan. Hmm, yeah, cool. I'll see if my sister wants them. She's coming to visit me at the end of the month, um, but ugh, I'm so irritated about that. This is the LYS Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. There is absolutely nothing treatment oil about this. This is a very, very, very sticky lip gloss, and um, I just don't find myself reaching for it. This is the other of the Aether. I'm gonna hold on to that. These Koki lip liners. I feel like it's nice to have lip liners in all these shades sometimes as backups. So I will hold on to those. I think at some point I said something like, oh, I don't have a lip liner color for that. And it's like, girl, remember that you have these. Cause like, they're actually like, look at this freaking berry shade. Oh my God. What? Yeah. That's, mm. That's excellent. More lip liner, like, and lip liners use up so little space in my collection, like why not? Oh my God, Root, Root. <laughs> it's so good from Fit Glow. All these are so pretty. Oh, Rowan. You know, do we hold on to this because it's a frame of reference or do we get rid of it because it sucked? It sucked, right, okay, moving on. One of my favorite lip products that like could have been such a gimmick and it just wasn't so good. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, it wasn't, and it is so good. This is the Elamasca Hydra Lip Tint. It's so fun. I love this thing, because like, okay, if you're new here, like, you do, you do that, and it all mixes together, and it makes like this perfect, 
lavender shade and there are a bunch of different shades in it but this is called picnic plum and i enjoy it very much and it smells like vanilla and it's actually really, really nourishing, which is fantastic. This is an almost done coconut bomb.com, but we do not throw these out until they are completely done. My husband and I are hopelessly hooked on these. We have them like on every surface in every room. Like last night I had to run in here and grab backups because we both ran out. So another of the Vesca's, these are just so good. This right here, this is actually a matte lip from uh, M Cosmetics. This is in Magic Hour and it's so pretty. It's like really 90s y. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This is the Petal Bouche from uh, Violette. And you know, if my sister didn't, or she's a huge Violette fan, I don't think she ordered this stuff. So I'm going to give her all my Violette stuff when she comes. I think she's going to be very pleased with that because this just <laughs> didn't work for me at all. Okay, these are incredible. This is the Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. And the main appeal here, besides, you know, the packaging and everything, is just oh my god look at that shade it's so good it's like this perfect for me it's just like that cool toned nudie pink lavender thing oh it's just great and they smell they smell like limoncello god they smell incredible this is my khaki lip liner i don't know if you've heard about it but i'm gonna hold on to that generation g i only ended up holding on to a few of those the last time i decluttered and i'm going to hold on to the same ones just for reference Forgot about you this is my favorite shade obviously quite used uh, from Thrive. This is Stephanie, one of my favorite nudes of all time. So definitely holding on to that. It goes really, really well with my lip liner as does this one, which is Eileen. These are my two favey faves from Thrive. I'm going to pass on the Agave intensive lip mask for the reason that, well, it's just not that intensive of a lip mask. I don't actually know what the original one was like. I just find those to be disappointing. Here are the last few. Um, this is a very old Becca Glow Gloss that I'm going to get rid of. This is from the Volcano Goddess collection and it's in Molten Mauve by Becca. Becca's gonna be gone next month, so kiss her goodbye. Here's the last of the Vanillic Lips by Rowan by, oh yes, Ride or Die from e.l.f. This is so good. This is in the shade Cookie, something cookie. Tough Cookie. Yes, very, very good. Two more of the Ilia. These are the lip balmy tints. They just sent me another one, a shade that I didn't have yet. So um, these are beautiful and they work great as lip and cheek. Two of the Clover lip glosses. Again, I haven't even had the chance to try these yet. Holding on to this, this is the shade No Nino, which definitely just looks like onion when you turn it over. Another of the Rare Beauty tint tinted lip balms. This is in the shade thankful absolutely beautiful 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 such a good shade this is the bite beauty freaking lip primer this is so good this is m cosmetics in magic hour very very good keeping my finding ferdinand's just because you know these were made specifically for me this is fjords of chaos from my good friend ted this is divine which is one of my adjuster shades that I made. Um, and then my other adjuster shade is around here somewhere. This is a Lise Watier shade, which is actually an unbelievably beautiful, you know, like purple kind of color, keeping that so pretty. This is the E-Balm from Persona. And I haven't really gotten a chance to know whether I like that or not. It's pretty. Um, smells kind of fruity. Gonna hold on to that. And then I'm getting rid of this. Pure asked me if they could send me some PR, which I thought was really funny because um, I thought they were gonna send me makeup and they just sent me skincare. They sent me this and some like under eye pads. And I was like, guys, th this isn't what I talk about on my channel. So this is really not good. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It reminds me actually a lot of the cosmetics one that I don't like. Um, it's just really thin and oily. And uh, yeah, sorry, not getting, not going to keep that. And I'm keeping these. Just kidding. There's still so much more. Who am I kidding? Okay, let's keep going. All right, guys, this is actually the rest of them. So again, keeping all of these, the M Cosmetics and the Bite Beauty, getting rid of another lip vinyl, a vanillic lip. This is the Bare Minerals, uh, the Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm and Ingenuity. It's such a beautiful, subtle shade. I'm going to keep that. Keeping my Tower 28. These are the original Rowans and you will pride them from my cold, dead hands. They are so beautiful. Remy, 
Scout and Charlie. This is another very 90s -y shade. This is Caramel Glaze from M Cosmetics. I'm going to declutter the Fenty because it tastes gross. Here's the other one from Westman Atelier. This is the shade Garçon. Another utterly gorgeous, like purpley tone. Like, look at that. Ugh, ugh, you've got me at that stuff. Speaking of which, I don't think I've ever even tried this. This is Pastille from Bite. Oh, why have I never tried that? That's like my perfect shade. See, see, this is why we do these things is because my feelings change about like what looks good on me. And next I need to do a best and worst, like purple, purple makeup video. Like, look at me. I love, I love purple makeup. The other Lauren Conrad lip gloss. Bye. Speaking of purple makeup, there's hot tomato. See, I thought I was done. I'm an idiot. The other ultra lip stays, you know, of all the carrot beauty. I do really like this one. That's their lip oil. Uh, here's my Finding Ferdinand in Really Red Rose, as reds go. It's a very good one. Here is Finesse, my adjuster. Yes. Keeping my Thrives, keeping my Finding Ferdinands. I'm gonna get rid of the Honest Beauty and Lychee Fruit just because this is really old, it like smells. There's the other one, the Thrive Sunproof. Gonna hold on to that. I'm going to get rid of Ichiban Lipstick for Men here from Becca. I'm holding on to my balmy glosses just for references sake. So yeah, I do have petals. And so I do have now a backup of petals. This is Hype in the Bare Minerals Gin Nude. This is the stickiest lip gloss I've ever used in my entire life, declutter. Yeah, so cake like, oh, I did keep Leo as well from uh, the Generation G. I don't know why this is, oh my God, it's Best Coast, you guys. <gasps> oh my God. Remember we couldn't find Best Coast? There it is. Wow. We found it. I'm so glad you guys could share this moment with me. Another Wayne Goss. Oh, Kierweiss, Kierweiss, Kierweiss. Why do you smell so stinking bad? I'm gonna hold on to this just because the case cost me so stinking much money, but I really don't like that formula. These are the little bitty guys from Fit Glow and they're lovely. Kate had these sent to me and they're just so nice. I am going to declutter the Pout Volumizing Serum from uh, Beauty Bio, another one that's just like incredibly thin and weird. It's just my preference. I don't really like this kind of formula. This is the Thrive Pumpkin Spice Latte one. I'm gonna hold on to that for posterity. I'm gonna get rid of the Glossier in red. I just don't reach for it. I love the uh, formula on these from Victoria Beckham, and this was a little bit too yellow once it got on my skin, but that's what my finesse adjuster shade is for. So I love this. Goodbye to you, little Rowan elixirs. Um, this is the Lise Watier. It's just like a nice melon pink. What does it smell like? Ooh, it's really fruity. I'm gonna keep that one. Probably my favorite of the Glossier lip glosses is the one with all the shimmer in it. Gonna keep the Pulse Kosas. I do love the This Is Milky gloss from NYX. What is this? Ugh, more Lauren Conrad. Bye. Lila B. This is a very, very nice little lip oil, but I just never reach for it. And the applicator is just so annoying. So I'm gonna declutter that. Gonna keep these, keeping my lip liners just because I like to have a good collection of lip liners. There's a pencil somewhere without a cap. And finally, I'm going to declutter this little tin balm from Bite for the exact reasons that I articulated earlier, and that is that it just isn't very nourishing. Sorry. All right, guys. Next we have bronzers and highlighters. So this is the current situation. I don't have as many of these as I do other things. So this might be quick, you never know. Um, I'm gonna declutter all the Venix Organics just because they're a little sparkly for my taste now. Um, I did used to really, really like them, but I've just had other ones kind of grow on me some more. This OMG right here, this is from Illamasqua. It is so beautiful and I have not got enough use out of that. So I'm gonna hold on to that guy gonna hold on to this backup of the milk and the open one. They accidentally just sent me two when they did the Sephora sale, so I ended up with two, but this is actually the Flex Highlighter in Lit. 
is one of my favorite highlighters. Holy crap, West Coast and Best Coast reunited and it feels so good. I'm going to keep both of those. This is one of my favorite highlighters, not even just as a highlighter, but just as like the most insane product. Like it just, you know what I mean? I wanna use that everywhere. And this is the Aether Diamond, Crushed Diamond, uh, the beige one. It's the Pure Diamond Dust and it's just like, it's just out of control. I'm going to declutter this little Becca one because it's actually too dark for me. And again, by Becca. I'm gonna hold on to the lip bar because this is just such a great little palette. This is the Go Off Minute Finish palette and it is so dialed in for fair skin. As much as I enjoy this product, again, Quo is just something that like I can't really... <laughs> Understand that like if you are Canadian, this is a good product, but if you aren't, nobody else can get it. And that's kind of annoying. This is the Illamasqua bronzer. That was another one of the color theory winners. I like this one a lot. I'm gonna hold on to that. A Daniel Sandler highlighter that he sent me. I do love this little thing. When you mix them all together, it's so beautiful. He really knows highlighters. This is, uh, it's hard because it's like, we, no one really wants to talk about Hourglass anymore, but this is a really lovely product. This is news, Nude Bronze Light in the Ambient Lighting Bronzer. I'm going to hold on to that just because it is very useful. I will say for the sake of comparison, I'm going to hold on to this, but I did just use this. This is the Wayne Goss Bronzer and Contour Palette. I just used this the other day and I realized that that contour is just so cool toned that it's actually gray on my skin and um, it's not very flattering. So this, I'm gonna hold on to it for comparison Comparison, like I said, but um, I, I don't really use it. This I use the absolute daylights out of. <laughs> Again, you'll probably have from my cold dead hands, Patrick Ta in She's Statuesque. I'm going to get rid of this guy. I don't really use it and it has a cream and three highlights in it and they, I just don't, I don't really reach for it. It's from Koki. This is the Ilia Decades. Very, very pretty, very, very pretty, but it is a pretty straightforward highlighter. Like there's nothing super, super special about it, but I'm still gonna hold on to it because it's a good product. This is the Aether, what is this? this? Is the Pink Diamond Dust? Yeah, this one is, both of these are like much, much, much too pigmented for my skin. This is the Gold Diamond, Yellow Diamond. But again, encyclopedic knowledge, I wanna be able to show other skin tones, like what exists in her collection since, you know, I do have them. There's like no, there's no one that I would necessarily have have to give these two either. So, um, you know, it's just a nice thing to have around. This is something that I am quite underwhelmed by, but I feel obligated to hold on to it because I bought it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. And there is something really luxurious about this gigantic pan. So holding on to that um, in the same type pan is the airbrush bronzer, which I do love. And especially as we move into the cooler months, this is like my favorite bronzer for winter. Holding on to those. The liquid highlighter from Lauren Conrad. You guys know the deal. I have, let's see, the old Rhea. I think this is the new Rhea from Thrive. So I actually have all of them. Really, really good for, again, comparison's sake. Oh, they don't make this at all anymore. This is like probably one of my favorite highlighters. This is the Moonlight Highlighter from Cover FX, but they don't make it anymore. And it makes me really sad and it's super expired. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm holding on to this Makeup by Mario uh, bronzer. Unlike his cream bronzer, this actually ended up being a really, really nice shade for me. Oma, obviously she stays. Shantae, you stay. It is so good. This is the little contour and highlight pa uh, palette. It's a stick khaki. I'm running out of words already. I'm gonna hold on to this from Rare Beauty. It's just such a pretty highlighter. It is the shade Mesmerize. Holding on to my Thrive. Uh, what's this thing called? Triple Threat Color Stick. This is in the shade Miko, just a beautiful like silvery pink. Gonna hold on to all of the Glossier, what they call this thing, solar paint, cloud paint, solar paint. I didn't put that together until very recently. I bought all these for undertone purposes. So again, that's the reason I'm keeping them. I'm gonna declutter this guy. This is the Bear With Me Luminous Cheek Serum from NYX just because it's super low pigment. It just doesn't really do me any favors. Going to get rid of the No Pigment Gloss Highlighter from Becca. You guys know that I do love the virtual foundation, but this thing just kind of jumped the shark for me and Saddy Sad by Becca. As far as really warm things go, I don't know, man. Sometimes it is nice to have something like this and I did just buy this from Refai. Um, I'm gonna let my sister try it and if it like blows her mind, I might give it to her, but I am gonna hold on to this for now. I'm going to declutter this. I know that's surprising, but this is like the complete wrong shade for me. This is the Danessa Meyer.
Myrix one. Um, this is supposed to be a contour, and it is just like green, green, green on me. It just does not work. I mean, I could probably just go for another shade. The formula is lovely, and um, I'm just I'm bummed about it, but like I will never use this. Something that I do is a drugstore product that I actually use quite a lot, and this is the Koki. It's all matte, great contour and powder palette, and this comes in two different shades. This is the Universal, and then they do have like a darker shade. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, $15 or something at Sally's. It's really, really good. Something that I haven't reached for very often, but I did for a while, as you can tell, um, this is from Arrive. And this is their bronzer and light medium. This is a really, really lovely formula. And I just love everything this brand stands for. Like, I just wanna see what else they do, but I really like this. Two Vesca bronzers. Wow, they get really messed up, don't they? I have Kiss by Rio and Kiss by Santorini. So actually, Kiss by Rio being the fairer works less for me just because it is so green. And then this one, I know if you're not like a color theory nerd, you're like, that doesn't look green to me. It is, it's pretty green. Um, and then this one is a lot more neutral. It's a little bit more uh, you would say like a rosy, almost cool toned undertone. Santorini actually works a lot better for me. And so I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to declutter this one. I am holding on to, yes, I am holding on to the Say Beauty Star Glow Glowy Super Gel just because I want to get my head around it a little bit better, but I don't have any really good reason to get rid of it. The polka dots and moonbeams from Ilia. I don't really reach for this. You know, it's fine. It's really, it's fine. It's a little hard to use because it's very, very stiff. I think it's okay. So this is from Carrot and this one is just like so slippy. That is, that is my ideal stick highlighter formula. And the one from uh, Uma is very, very similar in that respect. Something this stiff just doesn't do it for me and I need to be discerning about that. So that goes, this is the Daniel Sandler. Absolutely lovely. That stays. This is, oh yes. Some of you are just salivating because this is just such a ride or die for a lot of people. If this is the right shade for you, there are two shades, maybe three now. I want to say only two. This is the Westman Atelier in Biscuit and it is just the perfect creamy brontour kind of color for me. So definitely keeping that. And actually I want to say Ooh, yeah. From Danessa Myricks is actually very, very similar. They're also very similar to my khaki lip liner, and that is why it's just such like a dialed in shade for me. So both of those stay. Nutcracker, that's not what the bread and butter, this is Nutcracker. Nutcracker is just such an unbelievably good shade. It's actually interesting because Nutcracker is a really good dupe for biscuit, and bread and butter is a really good dupe for petal from Westman Atelier if you want to spend less than half the money. We all know that I have this love-hate relationship with the uh, super loaded highlighter from Westman Atelier. I think I've tried to declutter this like five times and I never end up decluttering it. And I'm not gonna declutter it today. It was 75 freaking dollars. That was pro depeche and I just, I, I, I'm mad that I own it and I'm mad that I'll never get rid of it. This is the Illamasqua Beyond Liquid Highlighter in their kind of like marquee highlighter shade, OMG. Look at that. Look at it. Another one that I just need to like make more use of. It's very pretty. The Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil. Something really special about this is this shade. This just really fantastic like lavender kind of color. And it just works so beautifully on like winter skin. Oh, there are so many things that I'm like excited to pull back out. This is going. This is the Refi liquid highlighter and as pretty as it is, I think it's supposed to do this, but it just kind of disappears. It's just kind of meh. This is the Lila B bronzer. They did send this to me, so I feel obligated to keep it. It's pretty. I'll see if my sister wants it. I just, I'm not thrilled by it, you know? This I'm definitely holding on to. This is the Cheeks Out in Butter Biscuit from uh, from Fenty. You can see this thing is really loved. It's actually really disgusting, um, but it's a perfect neutral shade for me. This is also something that like, I bought the mini because I was like, meh, you know, like maybe I won't like it or whatever, but I actually really do like it, but it is the Film Star Bronze and Glow from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, and I think it's really nice. That's, um, that's my foot. <sighs> that's my foot, everyone. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy. This is the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova. I dis I discarded this. I decluttered this a while ago and they sent me another one and so I feel like the universe is telling me that I need to like this. And so um, I do, I like it okay. I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna hold on to my deep bronzy drops just because I do use them occasionally to deepen a foundation here or there. Not that I'm that good at doing it, but it is just a nice thing to have around. The Root 
pretty white gold illuminator. This is just one of the prettiest freaking products on the market. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't use it enough. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. So I'm going to hold on to that. Lauren Conrad, the bronzer that we're supposed to pretend doesn't exist because this is why this is the one that they pulled. You can't buy this. It's pretty stupid. Bye. This is the matte bronzing brick from Victoria Beckham. Of all of my bronzer contour duos, this is the warmest, but I do find myself reaching for it quite a bit. So um, it's a really good like finishing, especially the uh, the contour. It's a really good kind of finishing bronzer. So super finely milled, very, very like undetectable on the skin. I like it very much. Going to keep that. This is the Violette Bomb Shine, and um, it absolutely does not thrill me. It's <gasps> what? Fine. It's fine. And I think that my sister will enjoy that. So I'm going to see if she wants that. Vesca Moonlight. This one's a little bit peach. It's very, very pretty. I'm going to hold on to that. And finally, and I know I had another one from Vesca. I do not know where it is. This one that I just tried again in my collaboration with Kate the Great. This is the Solaris Rare Light Luminizer from Ritual Defi. And it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. So um, the only thing is it does add a little bit of coverage. So I need to figure out how best to use it, but I don't want to get rid of it. I do like it. All right. I'm warning you guys up front. These are my blushes, my cream blushes. This is my biggest category of like quote unquote frame of reference. So most of these are staying even if I don't wear them very often. So I'm just going to quickly go through the ones that I am actually getting rid of. So. I'm getting rid of the Undone because I have no use for it. I don't like it very much. I'm gonna get rid of this NYX one. Oh, there is, um, yeah, this one got shipped to me all gross from Elamasca. And they sent me this one to replace it. And I love this shade. This is the shade Laid. I'm going to get rid of this one from RMS. I'm gonna get rid of the Carrot Beauty one. Get rid of the Quo one. I'm gonna get rid of the Milani Cheat Kiss, the liquid. I really like the Milani Cheat Kiss in the pan, but not those. I'm actually gonna get rid of the Iconic London ones. They really are so, so low pigment. They're really hard to work with. They're just too wet. And I'm gonna get rid of the Subtle Beauty ones. They just sent me these randomly, even though I did buy a bunch and then declutter them out of nowhere. I don't even know how they got my address. I think maybe it's because my P.O. box still forwards to me, but like this just, these just don't do it for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's it. I'm keeping all the rest of them because they're important to me. All right, powder blushes, here we go. I am keeping my Aether palettes. These are some of my favorite freaking blush palettes. I have Coral Rose from Wayne Goss. I use the crap out of this, keeping that. I'm gonna keep my M Cosmetics ones. Um, I use Venetian Rose more than the other ones, but I'm going to hold on to those again just because of encyclopedia. I'm gonna get rid of this guy finally. This is the Cheek to Cheek in, they claim this is Pillow Talk, but um, this is obviously the Pillow Talk High Intensity and it's just in the wrong pan. So um, I'm gonna give this one to my sister. I think she'll like that. Keep being obviously all of my bronzers. These are now discontinued. I went to find them online and they are gone. Bare minerals. You need to make these a mainstay. What were you thinking? The Patrick Ta blushes are obviously staying. These are so unbelievably gorgeous. I have, she's adorable. She's seductive. She's passionate. They're all staying. The Bare Minerals Balance and Blur, this is such an amazing formula, and I don't really have any other kind of coral colors like this that I like to wear, so I'm gonna keep that one. I don't know why this is in here. This is the Essence Moonlighter Cushion uh, Highlighter from CLE, and I don't like it because it's too lavender. All three of my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Divine Blush. These are an unspeakably beautiful formula. Like they're just the most addictive formula. I'm keeping those. You're gonna see a lot more of those again come cool weather just because I wear more powder in the cool weather. Blush Peony, um, uh, I just don't really use this. I think I'm gonna pass this along. Papaya 1972, you know, I need to make better use of this. I'm gonna hold on to that. I don't know why. Velvet Melon High Intensity is in there. I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna get rid of the Lauren Conrad. 
I'm gonna get rid of these persona ones. I have never encountered anything this pigmented, which is not a bad thing. It's just not for me. Like this is such a beautiful shade, but like they go on the skin in like this like punishingly pigmented way. I'm going to get rid of the color pop between the sheets, you know. Ugh. That's my general thoughts on ColourPop. Nah. Um, I do believe that PYT is going to be sending me um, an updated packaging version of all this stuff, but until then, I'm gonna hold on to this. This is one of my favorite adjuster shades. This is Exhale from them, and I still hold on to it. Um, I'm gonna give this one to my mom. She fell in absolute love with this when she was here. This is the House of Siage. This is just such a good formula for mature skin and this color looked amazing on her. And so, um, you know, I think she will get more use out of it than I do. She loved it. I'm going to hold on to this makeup by Mario. This really did answer my urge that, you know, I originally tried to satisfy with the KKW formula that was just so sad. Um, but this is Creamy Peach and it is just an absolutely beautiful formula. Absolutely beautiful shade. I like it very much. Like, oh, here's the other one. This is Kiss of Rose. Saddy, sad bare minerals. They need to like make this permanent. Here's another bronzer. This is, I guess, the original. Yeah, I don't know why I have that in there, but um, yes, uh, Rosie stays from Thrive. And then Paloma ended up in there as well, probably just because I can't tell the compacts apart, but these are these are bronzers. Then I have Camellia from Becca, which is, oh my gosh, so crazy pink. My sister, oh my God, this is gonna look incredible on her. Um, but you know, I don't wear it. So moving on. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette in Ghost. I wish I could say I still use this and I really just don't. I think I'm gonna pass it along. It's just, it, I got a lot of use out of it and I'm done. It's it's a few years old anyway. Custom palette that I made with Finding Ferdinand or for Finding Ferdinand or with Finding, I don't know, I on their website. Like I didn't collab with them or anything. I think I'm gonna pass this along. It's nice and everything, but like the blushes are a little bit too pigmented. Ilya, this is a bronzer. I don't know why that was in that drawer either. Um, but yeah, Ilya just sent this to me. I did declutter this, but they sent another one to me. So I'm gonna use it just for that. Get ready with me and you know, see what my feelings are again. But this is their uh, drawn in nightlight bronzer. So I'm gonna hold on to that for now. All right, this is where stuff gets a little bit weird because this drawer, <sighs> with the best of intentions, has like concealers and primers and setting sprays and powders in it. And I don't think the primers were supposed to be in there. There are primers in another drawer as well. So this is an Illamasqua primer that they just sent me. This is, I don't know why, like all their stuff when it comes, like I don't, this packaging never looks new, but this is the Hydra Veil. Apparently this is kind of like a ride or die product for a lot of people and I wanna get to know it. So I'm going to hold on to that. Also going to hold on to my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. And I think that might be it for the primers. No, then there's also this one that Rare Beauty sent me that I really like. This is their blurring primer. As far as setting sprays go, this is one of the best setting sprays on the market. This is the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. It makes your makeup flexible, like nothing I've ever seen. I am going to declutter the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I just think that it's too matte. I'm going to hold on to the Conceal to Reveal palette from um, Undone Beauty, not because I like it, but just because I've bought it twice now, and I feel like you know someone's going to ask at some point, and I don't want to buy it again. These two things. I'm going to hold on to both, but they are basically the same thing. So this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector, and this is the Ulta under eye brightening corrector. And I really feel like the, they are so similar. Like this is a really, really great, um, sub a good dupe for it since this is going to be discontinued, but I'm going to hold on to both. Oh, let's look at some pressed powders. Shall we? The bite has always been one of my favorites. You can tell I've gotten quite a lot of use out of it. It's such a funny kind of nuanced thing. I always talk about, I'm like, Oh, well, you know, this actually has enough kick up out of the pan that it won't hard pan on you. There's some technology here. Don't underestimate that. The filtered effects, this is brand new from Thrive. I'm going to be using this in a get ready with me pretty soon. Um, and they have changed their little thing. So it says TC on the, on the, on the top instead of just the T. Um, I'm gonna declutter this one. It's green, it's interesting, but it's weird. And I don't really use it. I don't have a lot of issues with redness. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder is very, very good. I'm going to hold on to that. Ilya, Fade Into You, very, very good. Going to hold on to that. I'm sure that there will be another season in my life where I'm more into setting powder. 
powders. I'm not really into them right now, but I'm not going to get rid of them just because I'm in a different mood, you know? This is the Lee Swatier Color Corrector uh, Wheel. Again, I need to do more with these things. This is such a good thing to have. Wowder? Just a great, great frame of reference to have. It's a little bit larger particle size and it's not as mattifying. It's a very, very good powder. The Koki Translucent Powder, absolutely no reason to get rid of this. It's a perfectly good powder. It's a very good drugstore powder. The BioBase Baked Brightener, very similar now that I have really experienced them to the, uh, the Kosas as well as the Pat McGrath. So I still love this so much. It used to be like a baked dome and it is flat. I love this. The Under Over Powder from Undone, I feel no way about this. Absolutely not one way. And uh, I guess I'll hold on to it just for the same reason that I'm holding on to the concealer. The Miracle Cover Concealer from Quo. This is actually great. This is really, really good. It's like a really good, dewy looking, super silicone-y um, concealer. And I'm actually gonna hold on to it for my own personal use. I am going to pass along the shades of Thrive that don't match me and are never going to match me, you know? And my sister again is coming, she has deeper skin than I do. So I have light medium and uh, light medium warm and light warm. One of these will probably look really nice on her, if not both. So um, I'm going to pass those along and obviously I'm going to hold on to my absolute favorite, which is Fair Warm. Another concealer that I love is this one from Pat McGrath. This is in the shade L2, absolutely gorgeous, obsessed with it. The Ilia is pretty good. It's like medium coverage and I'm kind of coming back around to appreciating medium coverage. So I need to revisit this one. We need to do like an updated full face of Ilia. Kosa's, this is 2.5C. They did send me a bunch of shades too um, and it doesn't match me. So, you know, if my sister wants these, she can try them. So this is two and 2.5. I love this. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer, the little brush on the end. Um, I don't love this, the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stylo, just because it really doesn't do very much, but um, my mother loved it. So I think I'm gonna hold on to it for her. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a slightly darker shade, but I think it's actually a better shade for me than I have in the regular 16 hour. So regular, I have Fair Rose and this one's Fair Beige. So I'm gonna hold on to both of these. I love this form. I love both of these formulas. Here we have Kosas in 01, which is my shade. This is an unbelievable formula. Holding on to that. Gonna get rid of this one. I never ended up returning it. This is the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer and I ordered it in Fair 1N and it is like the most raging, yellowy, dark shade for me. Like how is that fair one in on any planet? Like that looks like a color corrector. Anami Radical Setting Mist. I don't think they make this anymore and the sprayer eventually dies, like it clogs up. This is the Hydra Mist. I used to really like this, but I feel like it darkens on my face a little bit from Becca, so I'm gonna move on. This is the Glossier in G10 and G11. I'm gonna hold on to G11 and I'm going to pass on G10. It just is never going to be my shade. This is the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake. Beautiful, beautiful concealer, holding on to that. This Bare Minerals Concealer is fantastic. I love it so much. This is Faircool 01 in their Bare Pro Concealer. Just such a great concealer. And I have no idea whether the Liquid Minerals is good. I don't know because I can't wear that shade. Like I can't even come close. NYX, as in N-I-X, is the shade of this Ritual Defee Cream uh, Concealer. Very, very nice stuff. I like this very much. Uma. Wow, wow, stay woke. So good, so good, so good. Keeping that. Um, Bare Minerals, Mineral Veil. This is so pink. It's so pink. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the Smith & Colt Canceled Light Diffusing Concealer, V Concealer. I've had this for ages, I'm pretty sure. It is expired and also it just is like not enough coverage for me. This is the Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray from Koki. I am not going to use a matte setting spray. Rare Beauty just sent me this. So I now have two of their concealers, one in 110, one in 130. The 130 is a much better match for me and I have now two of their foundations. So holding on to these just because they're good. They're, they're okay. I don't think they're great. I like the concealer better than the foundation. You guys watched me have like almost kind of a reaction to this on camera because it's so expired. So um, we're gonna get rid of the Saint Beauty concealer, but it is very good. I love the Beauty Blender Bounce concealers. They sent me both of these. They both work for me. That's because this is an insanely large <laughs> shade range. So, um, you know, multiple shades work for me. So this is 1.6 W and 2.10 C. Um, and I love these, super high coverage. 
I don't love this, but I'm keeping it kind of for comparison's sake. This is the Chantecaille uh, concealer. This is definitely gonna be the wrong shade for me, but um, I still want to like give all the Clover stuff a chance before I make my final call, so I'm holding on to that. This is a sample of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Finishing Powder, again, very pink on me. The Beauty Bakery Flower, uh, I guess I will hold on to that, why not? This is one of the best freaking setting powders on the market. You will pry it for my cold dead hands. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I don't know how translucent this is for all skin tones though. They should really put out more skin tones. A few more things here. Um, they did send me two shades in the Thrive, the new uh, setting powder. So I ended up with a slightly darker one. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that just so that I can like swatch it for you guys, but I might see if my sister wants it. I'm going to get rid of the Pretty Fresh just cause this is a crazy light shade for me. Um, the Radiant CCC Cream from CLE. I don't love this, but it's a really good, <laughs> it's a really good um, sunscreen, oddly enough. So I'm gonna hold on to that. The Kierweiss, uh, their translucent powder is so beautiful. It hard pans like a mother, but it's somehow worth it to me. I don't know, I like it. Another one of the bite. This is the exact same thing. <laughs> and I've also worked my way through this one. This is the Change Maker powder. The Kosa's um, Cloud Set in the shade Airy, another absolutely gorgeous one that loves to hard pan. Loves to hard pan. By the way, I'm keeping all of those. This is the Bright Fix from Fenty. Love this. This is a really, really good sub now for um, the under eye brightening corrector. Comes in a lot of shades. Keeping that. I really enjoy the Tarte C Hydro Sealer. I'm going to keep that. The Lily Lolo, this is super old, but this is actually a powder concealer. And it reminds me a lot of like the MAC press powder that you can basically conceal um, your entire past with. And that's why I keep this around is because it's like this high coverage powder. I don't have anything else like it. And it's like, if you get done with your makeup and you have got a glaring scabs it on your face and like you can't cover it for anything with a cream, this is the nuclear option. And that's why I keep it around. I'm going to pass along the Typology concealer because it's too dark. They need to do a better job. That shade range is garbage. And the Pat McGrath, they call this like an under eye powder. I like this because it doesn't really want a hard pan quite as much, It is, but it is still really precious. The uh, Bio Base Baked Brightener from Well People is just as good as this. I'm glad that I have it so I could tell you guys that matter of factly, but go with the well people. All right. And the final category, we have primers and foundations here. Let's round this out strong, shall we? Okay. These are some backups of the Thrive uh, primers, holding on to those. This is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. I got this in just too dark of a shade. This is in light. 150. I'm gonna see if my sister wants it. It's a pretty darn good kind of universal complexion product. I'm going to hold on to the Arrive Skin Boost. It's so beautiful. I'm going to, oh God, I'm gonna hold on to this because I don't know what else to do with it, but this has actually gotten to be too dark of a shade for me. This is uh, the Kierweiss in Lightness. But I'm gonna hold on to it. I actually don't like love this, the Triple Fix from LYS. Some people really like it. Rubby Christie loves it. It's just not my thing. Going to keep uh, the Becca Skin Love just for posterity's sake. <laughs> I also absolutely love the Bite Change Maker. This is their uh, micellar foundation. It's unbelievably beautiful. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of the True Skin. I'm over it. You know, it was really beautiful when I was doing Clean Beauty, but like I've just found things that are just so much more like flexible and user friendly. This is just a little sample of the Illamasqua, their Hydra Veil, and it's empty. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually throw that away. It's weird that it like came empty. Holding on to all of my Shantikai foundations just because, you know, even the worst Shantikai foundation is better than most good foundations. So definitely this one is amazing. The Future Skin, the Future Skin Cushion, as well as their Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna keep my Vesca primers. They are lovely. I don't think that there's really much of a difference between each one as far as shade is concerned, but they are really beautiful. I'm going to get rid of the True Skin Radiant Priming Serum from Ilia. This is just really inconsequential to me. I've never noticed a difference on my skin. Oh, this is just something I keep for reference. The Kosas Tinted Face Oil, but I'd never reach for it. I'm going to get rid of the Pretty Fresh Foundation. Again, way too light and more high coverage than I wanted. 
I, if I am going to reach for something that does have high coverage, the Insta Bake is actually great from Beauty Bakery. So I'm gonna hold on to that at least for now. The Westman Atelier, let's move a little bit. I, this is like one of my favorite things. Like I've almost used the entire thing up and when this is empty, I will repurchase it. I love this, this is an Atelier Zero. I feel bad because um, Illa Masca, I bought this one and it's too light for me and then they sent me this one and it, regardless of the actual shade, this is such a frustrating formula. It's supposed to be like a, a dewy formula, but it's like shellac and I don't like it. So I'm gonna toss that. Quo, while I like this, it's like crazy silicone heavy. I think I'm gonna pass that along. I'm going to ditch the Pretty Fresh. It's actually like, it's it's fine. It, it's like separating, but I actually like the bite better. Going to uh, pass along the Smith & Colt Veiled Threat. While I do really like this, I think this is like super expired. <laughs> the CC screen from Super Goop. This is weird stuff, but I am going to hold on to it because it's a good sunscreen. Bare Minerals. Oh my God, the liquid, liquid mineral foundation. The liquid minerals foundation foundation is so good. I ordered this when I was pregnant, I think. It's just really, really good. I am getting rid of the Nabla Skin Realist. It is so not good. No wear time, none at all. And the Milk, uh, what do they call the Sunshine Skin Tint? Such a disappointing product. I actually, like the formula is fine, but I'm, I'm just such, I, I truly despise this entire concept, how expensive it is. And the delivery system is gross. The uh, Tarte C Hydroflex. This is a pretty color, but it's a very temperamental foundation. And I feel like for what it's going for, I like the uh, Fenty better. Thrive, I don't love wearing the Buildable Blur. It's very, very pretty, but um, my skin doesn't really like it, but I still like to keep it around sometimes for reference for people. So I have a couple of those. Gonna keep those again, just for reference. But if you're looking for that finish, the Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Kombucha Filtrate from Urban Decay. It's that same kind of really beautiful hydrated finish, but it has that same long wear, but it doesn't have any sunscreen in it, which is, you know, better for a lot of people's skin. So I absolutely love this. It isn't too fair of a shade for me, but that's why I keep my uh, Drunk Elephant debronzy drops around. I'm going to get rid of the Carrot Beauty here because this is actually too dark of a shade for me and such a precious amount of product for the cost. Gonna keep the Milk Hydroflex, even though, um, I'm sorry, the Hydro Grip Primer, even though um, it looks kind of milky and weird. Nah, we're gonna toss that, never mind. Exa, it's nice. I'm gonna hold on to it just, you know, for memory's sake, just to make sure that I can kind of come back to it, but I'm pretty sure it's expired. Oh man, Bare Minerals Bare Pro. If you need something that's like high performing, high coverage, this is the one and it's got a great shade range. The Oma, another great shade range. This is a beautiful, the Say What Weightless Soft Matte. This is again, like a very good soft matte. It's not super, super matte. It's like satin skin finish. Keeping that, keeping my Auric Glow Lust. This is just such a good, like no makeup base. Smashbox 24. For our studio skin. I don't even think I've tried this yet. I'm going to hold on to that so I can try it. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, a lot of people love this thing. I don't really get it. This is the Becca under eye primer that's the anti fatigue under eye primer and it's blue. It just doesn't work like on my skin tone for some reason. It just doesn't really do anything. This is one of two of the typologies that I have. This is shade two. Again, might work great for my sister. It was because you buy one. For, you know, full price, you buy, if you need to mix shades, you buy the second one at half price. And um, I bought two and I don't end up, I didn't end up needing the darker one. So um, that I will see if Jessica wants. We have the Koki Skin Perfect HD Foundation. I love this foundation so much, but I use 10W, I don't use 10C. So we're gonna move along from that and keep 10W. I do really enjoy both of the Thrive primers. Going to hold on to those. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I really, really enjoy this. It's a great like one and done if you're not planning on putting any more makeup on basically. It's really nice. And they sent me a big one and a little one. So I'm going to keep both of those. Like I said, I have two of these, but I'm holding on to this, a Rare Beauty. I also have two of these. Um, the, the Ilia, basically because my mother stole one from me by accident and then she brought it back. But I love these. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint and I have the shade Tulum. All right guys, home stretch, home stretch, home stretch. This is fine, the Undone Unfoundation Glow Tint. I'm gonna hold on to it just because it is okay. It's fine. The Physician's Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir. Let's put it in frame khaki. It reminds me of the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation, which I also decluttered, so it's just not my finish anymore. This is the other of the Vesca. I like both of these. 
This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk, and this is the NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. These are both really nice for drugstore products especially, but very, very nice. Gonna hold on to those. I'm gonna get rid of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It is super yellow and like incredibly high coverage, just not what I expected at all. This is beautiful and not what I expected at all either. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection and I have it in the shade Light 2 and it is not what I expected in a good way. I thought it was going to be very high coverage and it's not. It's like this thin milk. It's beautiful. As far as very, very flexible formulas go, I love this so much. This is the Vision cover from Janessa Myricks. It is so good to have like in a makeup artist kit. Not that I have that, but just, you know, <laughs> my opinion. Um, because you can mix it with just about anything and thin it out and make it a foundation or use it as a full coverage concealer. You could cover a tattoo with this. It is amazing. As much as I love this Elite full tint, it is so, so, so beautiful. Um, this is like crazy expired, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna toss that one. Love this, the Becca Light Shifter. I know a lot of people are like, it's just a shimmer goo. It is just a shimmer goo, but it is a really good shimmer goo that actually helps my makeup stick. And sometimes I just wear it on its own. It's a lighter weight, less blurring version, basically of the um, Auric, but I feel like they both have a place in my collection. I'm going to get rid of this Typology sunscreen because it's incredibly frustrating and gross and it just pills up. The Becca Zero, y'all know I'm holding on to that. The Glossier Skin Perfector, every time I use it, I'm just renewed in my love for it. I'm holding on to that. As much as I hate the smell of this, I I like having it around just for comparison's sake. This is the Cure Weiss in lightness. It's pretty good. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating, but it's it's okay. And then this is one that I just can't stop loving. It is the Fenty. It's a great price, $29.50. I, it's a pretty darn good shade range, 25 shades. I have the shade two. So uh, that felt fast to me, but I know it wasn't. I know that it wasn't. Hello. I'm gonna put everything that I'm getting rid of in a bag and I'm gonna show it to you. So two tote bags, one full to the brim, one about a quarter full. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Yeah, and some of these things, like I said, are expired. I still need to go through them, you know, put things in my TerraCycle box that are done with, but a lot of this stuff is just going to be either donated to friends or donated some, some other way. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, my collection is a little bit smaller now, making room for some more, some more good things. Feels like a breath of fresh air. If you guys did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much and I will see you for a regularly scheduled video in the next one. Bye guys.